Hey guys, good morning. I'm sleepy, I'm sleepy. I was bad and I stayed up watching a little bit of TV and I need to take that TV out of my bedroom. <laughs> because then I won't do that. I'll go to bed and just put some soothing music on my Alexa speaker and go to bed. But I'm going to push through today. Bonjour. So, like always, having my meal number one. Made Kayla a yummy, healthy breakfast. She got some scrambled eggs with a piece of toast. Good morning, mom, and some strawberries. And I was on the counter and she was like, is this your breakfast? And I'm like, no, baby, it's yours. She's like, thank you so much. She's like, I haven't had a breakfast like this in forever. Because remember, they just had their winter break at school. So I haven't been making a breakfast because she usually wakes up right before lunchtime. Um, so she was super appreciative of the yummy, healthy breakfast I made her, which made me feel good. Good morning, Renee. So, um, so then, you know, I took care of Diesel, gave him his medicine, did what I had to do, got Alex his lunch, gave Kayla her lunch, they left, and then I did a little work stuff and made this yummies. Um, when I'm done here, I'm gonna do a little reading while Ryan's getting up to get started on my day. Good morning, Laura. So, um, it's my normal banana rama. It's my go-to. I pretty much make the same shake every day. Good morning, Amy, because it's delicious. Um, my Thirsty Thursday, sometimes I'll make an additional. Um, but my Thirsty Thursdays might end up being something different now because I don't have a shake midday. So, it would be a waste to just sit there and make it because now I'm eating my foods. So, I'm going to think of something for Thirsty Thursday for you guys. But anyways... I wanted to talk to you guys about when you're stuck. Daisy, come here. She hears dogs barking outside, so now she's carrying on. Relax, they're outside. Go on the beanbag chair. Oh, Diesel's on it. So, oh, walking in the cold. Ooh, I have a sweatshirt on, and it's probably only in the 50s outside. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about being stuck. Have you ever felt in your life trapped? stuck like hey mama dukes it's funny i have a mommy dukes on my instagram and i don't think i ever told you i call my mom mama dukes so i like i love the name that you picked for your instagram hey jules um have you ever felt like trapped stuck like you want some movement you want something different but you can't make that happen um because I can definitely tell you I have felt that way. Um, I don't feel like that way right now. I feel a little off. And I think it's just because it's only day three of my new journey. So I'm tired. My mind's not 100% clear. Um, so that's one thing about when you start a new journey. Is you go almost through like a little uh, a detox. Like a, like a fitness flu I like to call it. Um. So that's how I'm feeling today, just kind of, mm, I'm definitely taking a nap today. I take a guided 30 minute nap every day. Um, it's something I started on my vacation and I've just continued because it really helps me feel good. Helps me not be itchy. I have total crazy hair today, guys. I just rolled out of bed like this. <laughs> so, sorry. Um, but anyways, let me talk to you about my topic. Like, have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt, um, like you want something more and you're just kind of, your wheels are just going, going, going. Have you ever felt like that? If you have, let me see some hearts and thumbs up or whatever going across the screen. If you've ever felt stuck, like you want something more, you feel like you should be going somewhere else, but you don't do anything about it. You just stay stuck. So you're like, I see those hearts guys. So you're like a, a tire in the mud, just and just going, 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 right? I see those hearts and thumbs up. Okay, because I've been there too. And it's not a good feeling, is it? Like, it's just, it makes you feel like a failure sometimes, or at least me. I'm My eyes are actually watering up thinking about the feeling. It makes you feel like a failure. It makes you feel unaccomplished. Um, Laura, I'm sorry you feel like that right now. It makes you feel unaccomplished. It makes you feel less of a woman or less of a person if I have any guys on here with me right now. So I I did a lot of like soul searching and a lot of like thinking like, how can I change that? What can I do? 
And then that last word's right there. What can I do? Big letters, do. That's the answer when you're feeling stuck and you're feeling trapped and you're feeling like a wheel in the mud. That is your answer. Action. Do something. You need a plan. You can't just say, I want this, I want this, I want this. And then you have no plan to get there because I'm going to tell you something, you're never going to get there. You need to have a plan. If you're driving your truck and you're stuck in the mud, do you just sit there like, I need to get out of this mud and you just sit in your truck? Or do you think of something to do and take action and do it to get yourself out of the mud? You're going to take action, get yourself out of the freaking mud. So it's the same thing with our life. We've got to take action to get out of the mud. So, and it's just like when you go on vacation. Okay, I've had two different types of vacations. I have the vacation where you just plan to go where you're going and you get your plane ticket <clears throat> or you get your hotel or if you have a second home like we do, you just go to that home and you have no plans. No plans. So every day you wake up and it's like, hey, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Next thing you know, it's one o'clock in the afternoon and you're still sitting in the house with nothing to do because you didn't plan anything. And then I've had the type of vacation where we have like a little bit of an itinerary planned. Okay, so on day one, let's go see this site and let's go do this. On day two, let's go do this. So you have some sort of a plan. Not always does everything go according to that plan, but you have some sort of a guideline of what you want to do. Very similar to when I write out my month, which I need to write out February today. Um, you know, mid-month, I'm already planning and writing out the next month. So I know what groups I'm going to do so I can tell you guys and we can plan and put a plan in place. It's extremely important to plan. So let me see a thumbs up or hearts across the screen for the people that don't plan. Where you don't make a plan. You just kind of go with the flow. You kind of wing it. You're spontaneous all the time. Let me see how it's go across the screen. Because the important thing is when you're on vacation, without a plan, you do nothing. And that's the same thing with being stuck. Same thing when your wheel is stuck in the mud. When you don't have a plan, you stay stuck in the mud. If you don't have a plan to change what is bothering you, you're going to stay right where you are, bothered, pissed off, frustrated and resentment. You're going to have lots of resentment because nothing's changed in your life. Okay, so Laura, you make a plan, but you don't do the action. So your issue is needing to take action. And that's something I can help you work on. And that's something sometimes you just need an accountability partner to help you take action. Because the only way to go where you want to go and change what you want to change is by doing something. Not just writing it down, but actively doing something to make that happen. You've got to actively do something to make it happen. Yes, Amy, me and you are big planners, but then when we plan it, we take action on it. You know, we, put into place and take action. Like I put into place of putting all my dreams on a board of what I wanted. And now I'm taking actions to make that happen because it's extremely important for that to happen. So, um, it, that's the biggest thing. The biggest thing is do something. You've got to. So that's the plan. That's my little secret sauce is doing something about it. You can't just wish it, you can't just dream it. You have to do it. You have to. There's no way around it. Because you know what, if you don't do it, no one else is gonna do it for you. So then you're sitting there hoping for all these changes and wanting all of these wonderful things to change, right? And then, no action is taking place. So then you're sitting around wondering, how come nothing's changing? It's because you're not doing anything. It's plain and simple. 
So if you can't force yourself to do it and you don't have anybody to help you, you don't have somebody that can be like your accountability, the easiest way to push yourself and be your own accountability partner is to tell yourself why. Why do you want that change? And don't just say, oh, because, and it's like some silly little reason. Oh, because then, you know, I don't even know what changes to think of right now. I just, it can't be a silly reason. It has to be a reason that almost makes you cry. Because then you are emotionally connected, emotionally connected to what you want to do and where you want to go and get yourself unstuck that you will push yourself. Here's an example. You're stuck in the mud. We're going to go back to the truck in the mud and the wheel in the mud, okay? So you're stuck in the mud, right? Your reasoning of getting out of that mud is probably because you being stuck in the mud is now going to push your day back and you're going to be stressed out and you're going to be all over the place and, you know, maybe you were on your way somewhere and now you're going to be late. And so you will have an emotional connection of getting your car out of the mud, so you are going to do everything in your power to get yourself out of the mud. That is exactly how you need to be connected to why you want to get your life unstuck. Or maybe why you want to start a journey of something, of new something sorts. Because starting that journey is the action that's going to get you unstuck. Because you starting a new journey is obviously a new journey that's going to make the change that you want to see in yourself and in your life. So you've got to take action. Because you know if you don't take action to get that tire out of the mud, you will be there all night long. Because you can't assume someone's going to come along and do it for you. Same thing in our life. We can't assume someone's going to come along and do the action for us. So we've got to do the action. And we have to be so emotionally connected to what the outcome of that action is going to be like, you know, if you work hard to get that tire out of the mud, your truck is going to move and you're going to be able to continue on with your day. So you are emotionally connected to the outcome of that action. So when you're emotionally connected to that outcome, you're going to see that you're going to be able to push yourself. Let's read what Amy said. 2018, no negative energy. Do you? If you're not happy, nobody else around you will be happy. Exactly. And that is my exact, we talked about that. That is me and your motto for 2018. No 2017 baggage. The people that really want, seem to want nothing to do with us in 2017 are not in 2018. We talked about that. Um... And I'm just being me. I'm being real. I'm being who I am. If I don't want to do my hair in the morning, I'm not. If I want to take a nap, I'm going to take a freaking nap. Because I work really hard and I deserve that little nap midday. Even if it's for 10 minutes. At least it de-stresses me for 10 minutes. It gets me off the computer for 10 minutes. Away from my phone for 10 minutes. And just lets me get a little wusa zen moment for 10 minutes. Okay? Laura wrote, I'm just having negative in my ear of other people. Okay. Now, I had that problem, and as hard as it was, I had to remove those people. And if I couldn't fully remove them, I had to give some good distance of those people where I didn't talk to them that often, and I didn't, um, like I didn't, we didn't chat a lot. I wasn't reaching out to them a lot to talk to them. If they reached out to me, I would answer them. I wouldn't be rude. But I had to, bye-bye, because it was dragging me down, and it was making me feel worse, and it wasn't making them feel worse. It was making me feel worse. So they're telling you you shouldn't work out every day. What is their reasoning for you not working out every day? Do they want you to not be healthy? Do they want you to be sick when you're older? A year from now, would they be happier seeing you in a hospital bed, having to be on medication because you're not working on your health? So we need to really dial in. Stand up for yourself. I'm sure you do. Um... No, you're not going to have bad bones when you get older. I know what workouts you're doing, and the workouts you're doing are not going to give you bad bones. You're doing the same workouts as me. You have your on-demand access, so they're not going to give you bad bones. That negativity is coming from jealousy, and they're coming from feeling insecure within themselves because they're not doing something to better their health. They're not doing something to make sure they stick around for their family for a long period of time. So they feel if they 
if they keep hitting at you and hitting at you and hitting at you, then eventually you're going to stop and then you won't make them feel bad about themselves anymore. You know what I mean? So that's coming from insecurity because they feel like they should be doing the same thing as you and they don't. So that's where that's coming from. It's a jealousy insecurity issue when people are attacking you like that. Hi, Desiree. How are you? Good morning. So this is what I want you guys to do for yourselves today. And when I give you these call to actions and I tell you things to do for yourself, thank you for the heart love. Um, it's because I've done it or I'm doing it and I see that results took place. I never tell you guys to do something that I don't try myself, like the five second rule, which I still use. I don't tell you guys to do things that I either haven't tried, aren't trying at that moment, or I'm not ready to try. I'm always just sharing with you guys things that I've learned in my life, struggles that I've had, and what I did to take those struggles and make them something good. Um, how I've gotten out of black holes that have no way of climbing out. So I just always share with you guys what I've been through, what I'm going through, how I've helped myself through it and things like that because I feel like my mess needs to be my message. And I feel that, hi Amanda, I feel that I was put through and still go through the rough times because I have a voice. I'm not insecure anymore with sharing the dirty that I go through and I feel that even if it helps one person I've done my job like I feel like my mess has to be my message to help other people and let other people know there is a light at the end of the tunnel there is a way to feel better there is a way to be happy in your life trust me I went from the most miserable person to the most happy person. You can even ask my best friend, Amy, who's on here with us. She's been with me through the miserable and the happy. She watched the transformation with her own eyes um, ever since I made this switch in my life to get healthy and work on my fitness and work on my health. And that was also my mind health. I wasn't always a, a healthy mind person. And my mind still goes back to that old time sometimes. And then I need to coach myself. Yeah, you saw my picture. You could see a difference just in my eyes. If you didn't, if you guys haven't seen my Transformation Tuesday that I posted yesterday, it wasn't like a normal fitness Transformation Tuesday. I wanted to go face for face. Um, so I took a picture from when, from a while back and a picture that I took on the cruise so you guys can see the difference in my face, in my skin, in my eyes. Um, my eyes tell it all. I can't hide anything. It's written. Um... So I just want you guys to feel that happiness. I don't want you to feel like a tire in the mud. So I want you to take the time and make a plan. Even if it's just writing down things that you want to change in your life. Things that you want to be different. Okay, start there. And then after you write that, look at those things and look at each thing and think of an action you can do to make one difference for that. Yes, in the before pick, I looked extremely unhappy because I was. I thought I was putting on a good mask. I, I conquered knowing how to put the mask on, um, but I, everybody can see it in my eyes. Um, so you need to make that list and you need to think of an action, at least two actions to each thing on your list of what you can do. If you need help, I'll help you. Um, but that's where it needs to start. First, you need to know what changes you want. Sometimes there was times in my life, hey David, there were times in my life where I felt unhappy and I didn't know why. You just felt mm and you felt bleh and just didn't know why and I didn't know what changes I needed to make to make myself feel better. It took me a really long time. And then when I started working on me and just focusing on me being healthy, going for walks to de-stress my brain and things like that, I started to feel better. And then I realized I was unhappy because I didn't like who I was. I didn't like the person I had become. Um, and it takes a little bit sometimes. So if you're trying to write on that paper and you can't think of something, it's okay. Keep thinking about it. Or just think of things that you would like to do and write those things down. 
because those things in the back of your mind that you would like to do is probably where your happiness is and you don't even realize it. Um, yes. And Amy, I'd love that. Surround yourself with people that at the end of the day, they're going to love you unconditionally no matter what you do. Those are the people that you want in your life. Okay? So go out there and have a wonderful Wednesday, guys. I'm going to finish this, get my son up, and I'm going to do a little reading in my four agreements. So maybe I'll have something for you tomorrow out of that book. We will see. Have a great day. Bye.